Welcome to your next tutorial in XHTML, and today we're going to be lighting, lightly touching on styles. Uh, so what I really want to get done by the end of this video is differentiate between inline styles, internal style sheets, otherwise known as embedded style sheets, and external style sheets, more commonly referred to as cascading style sheets. So let's start by creating a pair of paragraph tags, and within this, let's type in um, what day is it? Now let's make sure that this pops up and it does. Now an inline style, I, I've shown you this before, is an attribute within any tag, like literally any tag. It could be inside the body tag, you have it inside the P tag, um, the, the H1 through H6 tab tags, um, the table tags, the IM, IMG image tags, there's form tags, any kind of, which I haven't gone over forms yet, but a, any kind of tags, there's always styles. That's what's so great about XHTML, is your ability to style just about anything. So I'll put the P back there, and the attribute is called style, equals, then within the quotes, I think one example I've shown you before is the text align, followed by a colon, and then center. So I'll save this, and let's see what happens. Well, now the text is in the center. Well, that's good. Now, what if there were more features I wanted to add it in, like to make it bold or italicized? Um, do not create another one of these. Instead, what you can do is type in a semicolon, and you can do another one. So I will type in font style colon italic. I'll save that. And then when I press F5, oh, now it's italicized and centered. Would you look at that? Now, what if we wanted to create multiple paragraphs and we all wanted them to have the same style? Well, you we don't want to just type all this in again and again because that would take up space. I mean, when you get into really thick code, that's going to take up some um, space and it's going to take longer for the site to load for users. And if it takes a while to load the site. They won't be happy, and they're not going to be coming back. So let's create another pair of um, paragraph tags, and let's put down mm, Tuesday. I'll go back up here and let's see what happens. Oh, yep. See, the Tuesday appeared over here. It doesn't have the same styles. So what you can do is create an internal style sheet, also known as an embedded style sheet, within the header tags up here, what's in purple. So, bring that down a bit, and I'll create a pair of style tags. Now you must always address the type attribute, which is text slash CSS. Now within this, you can type in the name of any generic tag that you want that you want them all to have to be in sync with a certain feature or style. So I'll just type in P because I want all my paragraph tags to be the same. Then I'll have an open curly brace and then a close curly brace. Then within this, um, you don't type in this. You don't have to type that in. Just these properties. So I'll type in text align colon center semicolon and I'll type in font style colon italic semicolon I'll click save then refresh the page and now it has the same styles as the other now let's try adding something else in here so I'll type in font weight bold now what do you think will happen do you think this this will become bold, and this will become bold. This already has its own specific set of properties, so do you think it'll fall in line with this as well? well let's see what happens. Press F5, and they both became bold. And this is where precedence comes in, because sometimes you can declare a font style here, and then a font style here, and if this is, if this, if this is a different value, it's going to obey the inline style because of precedence. And I'll tell you the order of precedence uh, right now. So 
inline styles always come first. Whatever's written here will always be the last to be read. That's, that's the last style that is applied. That's why. Uh, so if you specify something in an external style sheet or an internal style sheet, like up here, but you have it addressed differently down here, then it's going to react differently. So for an example, I'm going to change this text align here to right. So let's see what happens. I refresh the page, and it was only that one paragraph tag that moved over to the right. So that shows that inline styles have precedence over internal style sheets or embedded style sheets. So now I'm just going to get rid of all this. So we just have two vague paragraph tags. I click save, and now they're both the same again. So what if we want to apply the same styles to all paragraph tags or to, or all the paragraph tags in multiple web pages? Like if you have multiple web pages open and you want them all to be the same. What you can do is create a cascading style sheet, also known as an external style sheet. So I'm just going to double click here or you can click the new if you're using Dreamweaver or another text editor. I've never used it before so I don't know. And it's written exactly the same. In fact, I can just copy and paste this directly. I'm going to cut and paste directly to here. Add another line. Whoops. And I'm going to click File, Save As. And make sure you're in the same folder as your index or whichever uh, pages, pages that you want to use this CSS file. And I'm going to call it default it's a pretty standard name not really but um, cascade style sheet so it ends with the CSS extension and I'll click save and it's just the same the name of the tags that you want and all those properties within the style attribute will go go inside this so you can change the font um, the, the background color the color of the text just anything really uh, and yeah again for everything you can uh, make certain tables. If you can type table here and wherever you want it to go, wherever you want it to align, you would just use the align, not not text align. Uh, and, and it just works for all the tags. So, but now I'm going to get rid of this these styles. We need it to find this file. We, unless we link to this file, it won't be able to find it, and thus it's not the styles don't apply. Like if I save as of now, it goes back over there. So in order to link to this CSS file, you type in link, whoops, and then within the link tag, type in rel, and this attribute will be style sheet, simple enough to remember, and the type, you can guess this, we've done this before, text slash CSS. Now we have to have the link. Now if your website's uploaded already onto the website, then what you would put here is the exact URL of that style sheet in, in your website. Like um, for like mine for example would be like programminghelp.org slash the folder it's in styles slash um, default.css or whatever I have it called. I, I have a lot of style sheets. Um, but here, when it's on your computer, I'm just going to type in the name of the file, which is default.css. Make sure you have the extension there, otherwise it won't read it. XHTML is pretty strict about that. So let's try this again. I'll refresh the page. And now it's back. Um, so this was just a pretty much a basic video to teach you the difference between inline styles, external style sheets, which I deleted, and external style sheets and how one has precedence over the other so this has the least precedence this global one so it will be read first this external style sheet then will your internal style sheet and then your inline styles and uh, that just about wraps it up for this video so I'll see you next time